Now let's work on this problem. A capacitor is composed of two metal plates separated by an air gap of one millimeter. And we're given the dimensions of each plate and it's connected across a 12 volt battery. Determine the capacitance of this device. So let's say these are the two metal plates and it's connected across a nine volt battery. And let's say this is the positive terminal of the battery and this is the negative terminal. So when it's fully charged, this plate is going to have a negative charge and this plate is going to have a positive charge. And the distance between the plates is one millimeter. How can we calculate the capacitance? The capacitance is equal to the dielectric constant times the permittivity of free space multiplied by the area of the plates divided by the separation distance. The insulated material between the two plates is air and so the dielectric constant for air is approximately 1. The permittivity of free space is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. Now the area of the plates it measures 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And so the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now we need to convert centimeters to meters, so we need to divide each number by 100. 40 divided by 100 is 0.4 meters, and 50 divided by 100 is 0.5. So the area of each plate is going to be 0.4 meters times 0.5. Now the separation distance is 1 millimeter, which is 0 0.001 meter. So now let's go ahead and plug this in. So the capacitance is 1.77 times 10 to the negative 9 farads. And 10 to the negative 9 is the same as a nano a value, so it's nanofarads. So that's the answer for part A. Now let's move on to part B. Calculate the potential energy stored across the capacitor. The potential energy is 1 half CV squared. And so C, the capacitance, is 1.77 nanofarads, or 1.77 times 10 to negative 9 farads. The voltage is 12 volts. So we just got to plug these numbers in. And so the electric potential energy stored in this capacitor is 1.2744 times 10 to the negative 7 joules. So that's the answer for part B. Now, part C, what is the volume of the capacitor? The volume is going to be the area of the capacitor times the separation distance, d. So it's the area of the plates multiplied by the separation distance, and the area is length times width. So you can say it's length times width times height. So this is going to be 0.4 meters times 0.5 meters, because it's 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And then the separation distance is 1 millimeter, or simply 0 0.001 meter. So 0.4 times 0.5 times 0 0.001, that's going to give us a volume of 2 times 10 to the negative 4 cubic meters. And so that's it for part C. Now, part D, calculate the energy density of the capacitor. So the energy density is equal to the potential energy stored divided by the volume. Think of density in general, like mass divided by volume. So energy density is energy divided by volume. The potential energy is 1.2744 times 10 to the minus 7 joules. And the volume 
is 2 times 10 to negative 4 cubic meters. So this comes out to be 6.372 times 10 to the negative 4 joules per cubic meter. So that's the energy density of this capacitor. Number two, the two metal plates of a capacitor are separated by an air gap of 0.5 millimeters. The capacitor is connected across a 9 volt battery. What is the electric field between the two plates? So let's draw a similar picture to the one that we had in the last problem. So let's connect this capacitor across a 9 volt battery. So this is the positive terminal, and this is the negative terminal. The electric field will flow from the positive plate, and it will be directed towards the negative plate. And the separation distance is 0.5 millimeters. So what is the electric field between the two plates? What's the value of it? The electric field is simply the voltage divided by the separation distance. So it's 9 volts divided by 0.5 millimeters, which is 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. And so let's go ahead and divide those two numbers. So in this example, the electric field is 18,000 volts per meter. And so that's the answer for part A. Now let's move on to part B. Calculate the energy density inside the electric field. So how can we do that? Well, we know that energy density is equal to the potential energy divided by the volume, the same way as density is mass over volume. Now, the potential energy stored in the capacitor is 1 half CV squared. And the capacitance is K times the permittivity of free space times the area divided by the separation distance. And since the insulated material between the two metal plates is air, the dielectric of air is 1. So we could say that the capacitance is K, I mean not K, but just the permittivity of free space times the area over the distance, since K is 1. Now, since the electric field is equal to the voltage divided by the distance, we could say that the voltage is the electric field times the separation distance. So in this equation, we could replace C with this part. And we could replace V with ED. And so the potential energy is going to be one half the permittivity of free space times the area divided by the distance times e squared times d squared. So we can cancel a d value. And so we're left over with, with one half the permittivity of free space times the square of the electric field times the area times the distance between them, between the two plates, that is. So now we can come up with a formula for the energy density. So it's the potential energy, which is this value, divided by the volume. Now the volume is going to be the length times the width times the height, which is the separation distance. And the length times the width is the area. So we could say the volume is area times the separation distance. So it's the area of the plates times the air gap. So we can cancel these two terms. So the energy density of an electric field is 1 half times the permittivity of free space times the square of the electric field. So in this example, it's 1 half times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. And the electric field is 18,000 volts per meter. And we need to square that value. So 
So the energy density for this problem is 1.43 times 10 to the negative 3 joules per cubic meter. And so that's it for this problem. So now you know how to calculate the energy density inside a capacitor or inside an electric field if you're given the value of the electric field.